I go out and double check on the animals at night just to make sure they have enough food and water, especially if they're nursing. You want to make sure they have enough food and water um, because they won't nurse their babies, especially rabbits. They won't nurse their babies if they don't have enough food and water. And every time I come up, I talk really, really loud so that they know I'm coming so they don't get scared when I come around the corner. Hi, guys. Hi, babies. I always give the young babies um, hay because they may not be able to reach into these feeders. So this is the treat bucket for Empress so that she'll hold still for me to be milked. to it and she's actually doing a little better tonight so when I'm training them I just milk them out onto the ground hi babies <laughs> again I have to separate them because she is making more milk. She's making more milk than these little guys can drink right now. So, I'm gonna put them in the garage where it's warmer. And then I will take them back to her during the day. I'd like to keep them in there with her, but we're not going to. The other thing is, the more I handle them, the easier the transition will be when we have to put them on bottles, because we have to, in order to sell them, we have to This is the first morning that I've used a bucket. I'm on I do both hands at once, keep both hands on the teats even if one gets more empty. It makes them think that both sides are being taken care of. If you stop on one side, that's the foot that she'll start to um, lift. Make sure to keep your nails short. And then, all right, good job. Okay, so you take her food away. You don't want her to get used to the treat. Yeah, you take the food away. Hey, I'll go get your babies. Also, the reason I didn't just leave the babies in here for the night 
with her. And we have a duck egg. Um, the reason I didn't leave the babies in with her overnight was that without that mama to nurse on, it would be harder for them to stay warm out in the open like this. So I put them in the garage where it was warmer. Here's the quail. You guys can see them, right? So food and water, which is fine. That was dumb. I left. I left the milk bucket out. Good thing the cats didn't see it. <laughs> now, if we can train them to both suck on opposite sides, let's see how they're fighting over the one teat. See how they're fighting over it. What I need them to do is be sucking on opposite sides. It's just a bit of a pain in the butt. I should probably go in and help them. No, oh, are you going to turn around and use some sense? Can you find that other side? Oh, she found that other side. Good deal. Okay, well that's a score. That's exactly what I want to have happen. I want them each to choose their own teat and stick with it every single time. And they will be butting at her and nurse on her all day until they get their fill, which is exactly what I want. I want them to be hungry enough to eat on that other side so that any chance that she had mastitis starting in that side that got too full will go away. First off, I'm gonna wash my hands. Um, I use I I really prefer to do it in the two quarters because um, the one galloners are so big and bulky that it can be hard to get them in and out of the fridge. By the way, thank you, Mr. K the Kid, for the GoPro. I know it seems like I haven't used it in a long time, but this time of year when I got so much going on with the animals, it's sure a blessing. All right, so this one I'm going to find room in the freezer for. And there we go. Cheese is in order. Oh, and the wood stove is going. Isn't it lovely?